I'm standing at a place that was crucial to winning American independence, where American perseverance led to American victory, where they fought against the weather, as I do now. This is Morristown National Historical Park. When people think of the American Revolution, they usually think of those other places, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, New York, Virginia, but New Jersey was pivotal in winning the War of Independence. That's why it's known as the crossroads of the American Revolution. Morristown was crucial to New Jersey's role, especially when George Washington and his men camped here. That's right, the George Washington. This is the office where he commanded the army. This is the room he slept in. This is the kitchen, where meals for General Washington and his staff were cooked. General Washington chose this place because it was 30 miles away from the British in New York City. Far enough away that they couldn't easily be attacked, but close enough that they could keep an eye on the enemy. Here, 10,000 soldiers chopped down over 2,000 acres of trees to construct what would have been one of the biggest cities in 18th century America. Morristown also had the natural resources the army needed to construct a winter camp, including timber water, and dry ground. But that winter turned out to be the worst winter in American history. Northeastern seaports were frozen solid. At one point, there was a blizzard that lasted for four days, and the snow drifted to over six feet high. In a world without snow plows, crucial supplies didn't arrive for days. One soldier said he went for four days without getting anything to eat. Some soldiers began stealing from neighboring farms. Desperate soldiers ate old shoes. Others ate tree bark. Despite the hardships, less than 100 men died, and the majority of the men stayed and continued to serve. American independence wasn't just won because of victories on the battlefield. It was won at places like Morristown, where the soldiers stayed, they persevered. 